extraterrestrial. They came from outer space. They came with blasters. So head for high ground, because we are about to be invaded by the extraterrestrials. He didn't know what hit him. <laughs> I love seeing their faces when we get the drop on them. Now that he's locked up, he'll never return to his home planet. Huh? He's escaping! <laughs> halt, you little troublemaker! to do our astronomy homework. Yeah, I feel a little starry-eyed myself. Stars, planets, galaxies, asteroids, you can see all kinds of heavenly bodies. I know, I'm staring at one right oh. now. Oh. 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 Hey, Betty, mind if I eat all your jelly beans? Great balls of fire! Okay, okay, I'll save some for you. No, no, not the candy, the ball of fire! What? Huh? What is it, a meteor? I don't know, it doesn't move right. That thing's path is way too erratic. It must be a spaceship or something. Spaceship? I'm all over it. <gasps> this feels like an Archie's weird mystery. No, this feels like being dumped. That thing is headed right this way. A real UFO. Let's go! Archie! Buckle up! This is going to be bumpy! Yeah. They don't build roads like this anymore, and you really can't blame them! Reporter sense tingling! Tick tock, tick tock. Stop it! You're scaring me! So what do we do? We open it. Huh? No, Archie. What if huh? there's a Martian in there with eight arms and a face like guacamole? Then we'll buy him some taco chips. Whoa! Oh, I'm allergic to ugly. See, Ronnie? He's not ugly at all. Yes, he looks like a little angel. Don't you just want to hug him? Maybe later. Right now, he needs help. That landing must have knocked the stuffing out of him. Archie, get your water bottle. Veronica, a blanket. Jughead, hand me those jelly beans.
Now, don't you worry. Aunt Betty is going to take good care of you. Here you go, Angel. <laughs> Let me go! I'm innocent, I tell you! I didn't do anything! Shh, easy, fella. You had a little accident, that's all. Where is this? You're on the planet Earth. Mind if I ask you a few questions? How do you know our language? Universal translators implanted at birth. Of course! Brilliant! Do you have a name? Glebo. Hey! Huh? Hi, Glebo. I'm Betty. Here, have some nourishment. How do you know he likes jelly beans? Mm. How could anybody who looks this sweet not like candy? Careful, Betty. Looks aren't everything. He has a sweet tooth. I still think you're jumping to conclusions. Now what do we do with the little guy? Take him to the candy store? No, we have to hide him from those government agents. What government agents? The ones like in that movie about that other little extraterrestrial. Yeah, I love that film. The agents wanted to cut him open or stick him in a jar, remember? Uh, 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 uh. Right, and Betty Cooper is not gonna let that happen. Scary! But Glebo is more afraid of those two ugly aliens that I escaped from. You mean they're bad guys? Yes. Looky, look! Huh? Those are two mean-looking spuds. Anything that ugly can't be any good. Yes, very bad. And they want to find Glebo and capture Glebo and take Glebo away again. Don't you worry. We'll protect you, right? Sure, of course. course. Oh, and one more thing. It would really help Glebo if you all could find me some electronic parts. So you can build a transmitter to phone home, right? Uh, exactly. That way Glebo can call friends and they'll come rescue him. Anything for you, pal. As long as I get an exclusive interview with you. Don't mind Ow. him, Glebo. He's got newspapers on the brain. But don't you worry. We won't let those bad guys find you ever again. That little runt thinks he made a clean getaway. But I picked up his vapor trail. He steered his escape pod toward that planet over there. And he landed in a small community known as Riverdale. I pity the fools that try to stop us. All right, here's the deal. My garage will be Glebo's home base. We'll take turns babysitting him, keeping an eye out for any government agents or alien spacecraft. Archie will take the first shift. While he does, the rest of us will go look for the electronic components on Glebo's list so he can build his transmitter. During your shift, you will have the opportunity to teach Glebo about our life here on Earth. Okay, it's my shift. You guys take off. I have a million and one questions to ask Glebo about outer space. All right, question number one. What is your favorite color? Huh? Betty, have you looked at this list? Some of this stuff is almost impossible to get, or it's totally expensive. But we've got to help this little guy, Jughead. He's lost and helpless. How do you know that? By just looking at him. He's sweet and innocent and the cutest thing I ever saw. Can't argue with that, Betty. But can you tell me what's in this box? Jelly beans. No, the picture says jelly beans, but the box is empty. Don't jump to conclusions. What?
Really? Neato. So what end are you talking to? Uh, uh, you talking here. Cool. <laughs> Trouble! Where? Jughead just spotted a strange ship in the sky and he called me. Archie's on his way with the car. It's them! They'll be scanning for me! They'll see me! Hmm. Oh no, they won't! According to our readings, Glebo is somewhere in this two block area. Keep a close lookout. What's that? False alarm. Just a couple of girls babysitting a brat. Do you think they spotted us? No. Those old baby clothes did the trick. Keep walking! Keep walking! Hurry up before they see us. Now let's get out of town. You got it. To us. You're forgetting that Daddy built me a treehouse out here when I was little. That's right. But that was no treehouse. That was a tree fortress. Exactly. We might lose them from up here. Drop the road level. They're right on our tail. It's okay. We're almost there. We'll make our last stand here. And I've got just the ammo. Let's climb. We've got them now. OK, everybody, help yourself. Over, Betty. <laughs> no, it can't be. He was the sweetest, most innocent creature in the universe. Come back to me, Glebo. I love you. You have to shoot me, you dumb mammal. You call that protection? <gasps> You're useless. You're all useless. Well, I don't need you losers anymore. Glebo, what are you saying? Why are you acting like this? You fools take care of me so I can have time to build this. Well, I've got what I want now, so you can all just take a hike. What's going on here? What is this thing? I'll tell you what this is. It's mine. So beat it. Ow!
Oh, they're getting up! Don't worry, I've got them covered. Oh, my shoulder. Where's my partner? Uh, he's over there, out cold. What the heck is going on? Why are you shooting at Glebo? I know you Earthlings can't read this patch on my uniform, but it says Planetary Police. Your cops? Yeah, we're the good guys. Glebo was our prisoner. He's a criminal? But he looks so innocent and adorable. Don't be fooled by his looks. He's a cunning criminal with a bad temper who travels from planet to planet stealing plutonium to sell on the black market. Oh my gosh! There's an atomic facility just out of town that uses plutonium. And that's where he's headed. And there he goes with our ship. But all Gleba wanted to do was phone home. Maybe it only looked like radio, Betty. What if the gizmo was made for another reason? Yes, what Glebo probably built was a disruptor that will allow him to scramble the security system. Like an electronic key, right? Is he dead? No, that was a sleep gun. He'll wake up in a few minutes. I helped a criminal and hindered the police. I was totally wrong about everything. I feel like such a fool. We all make mistakes, lady. But maybe you can correct this one. Really? How? My partner will be out for a while, and my shoulder is hurt. Maybe you kids can stop Glebo. Not to worry, sir. We'll do our best. Come on! But he was so cute! turned out to be. Stealing, hurting, resisting arrest. Yeah, and he broke my nail, too. Huh? Well, he did. No, don't get up. I can handle the plutonium from here on. But thanks for your help. Hold it right there, Galebo. Inside. 
Gee, I feel kind of bad tricking him like that. Ugh. Sometimes it's necessary to pull a sting to stop a bad guy. Good work. You gave him a taste of his own medicine. Veronica, wake up. We don't have to wake her up right away, do we, Archie? And so we returned the stolen plutonium before the workers woke up. The planetary police recaptured Glebo and took him off to an intergalactic prison. Let me go, you jerks! He thought Betty was just a dumb blonde with some candy. I guess even a cosmic criminal can make the mistake of judging a book by its cover. And Betty isn't so easily fooled by appearances anymore. She now knows that ugly can sometimes be good, and cute can sometimes be bad, even in a little town called Riverdale. <laughs>